Hello guys, welcome back to Ray App Chamber Music. I believe you've enjoyed the previous lessons on now C minor scale, C sharp minor scale. Uh, we remember the minor scale has a C, uh, the third, the C and the seventh note being lowered, and then we have for the major scale we have the third and the fourth, and then the C and the seventh note being lowered. Um, with a D minor scale, to be able to get a D minor scale or to be able to play or to get any minor scale, you need to play the major of it first before the changes comes in. We alter the third, the C and the seventh note to get the minor scale. So with the D minor scale, we need to play the D major scale first before um, we get to its minor. So with the D major scale, we have D, B, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp and D. Win again. D, B, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. That is D major scale. So you are going to lower the third, which is the F sharp, the C, which is the B, and then the seventh, which is the C sharp. So the F sharp becomes F, B, becomes B flat C sharp becomes C F sharp becomes F B becomes B flat and then C sharp becomes C so we are going to spell the D minus K right now we have B B F G A B flat C and then D There's a D minor scale that we just played. So D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and then D. That's the D minor scale. So to be able to find the relative measure of D minor, you need to find the third note from the D minor scale. And then with the third note, it's F. So that means, technically, that means um, the relative measure of D minor scale is F major. That is it. So the relative measure of C minor scale is E flat major. The relative of measure of C sharp minor scale is E major. And then we now dealt with um, D minor scale. So the relative measure of D minor scale is F. With the opposite, the relative minor of F major scale is D minor. I believe you enjoyed the lesson on a D minor scale. Keep subscribing, keep practicing. God bless you.